Greetings, fellow travelers in this world wide web of internet skinomony. It is I, Stewie Dark of Invisible Id, bringing you this somewhat short, impromptu video based on something I think is very important. Now, very important. World hunger, dude. That's very important. You're going to talk about a video game. All right, so there's hundreds of thousands of Earthlings in four days that are going to be playing this long awaited game, No Man's Sky, published by Sony. Created by the developers Hello Games, head up by Sean Murray, our pal Sean Murray. So here is my important message, and bear with me for a moment. So I'm like in my mid-50s. Uh, I was uh, like a teenager when the Atari 2600 came out, so I've got some years on me. And uh, from that, about, I don't know, eight years or ten years later, I was on the Amiga. Ah, miss the Amiga games. Excellent, awesome games. Dungeon Master, Eye of the Beholders. Fairy Tale Adventure, Bart's Tale, the list goes on and on. Great system. Went from that to the PC for about 15 or whatever years, then on to an Xbox and an Xbox 360, Red Ring of Death, another Xbox 360. Really? Why? Oh, to play Skyrim. And then, you know, three years ago or whatever, the PlayStation 4. So I'm settled. I'm a PC gamer and PlayStation 4. Mostly PlayStation 4, because I like to just be on my couch. So, here is my, the whole point of this video. So, this most excellent game has been created. Three years in development. So many hundreds of thousands of people have known about it and been so intrigued by the possibilities of this game. Adventure and exploration and discovery and a game, guess what? Where you don't just walk around shooting stuff. 90% of the games we play. Our game's in the corner. Okay. I mean, I like fantasy, D&D, &D, and science fiction. I think I've been waiting for this game all my life. An old Star Trek fan, yada, yada, yada. So, and it feels like Star Trek to me. You know, exploring strange new worlds and seek out new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no man's sky will go before. Wait, that, does that make any sense? Okay, anyways, I think I had too much coffee this morning. Here's the point of the video. So, Sean, you had mentioned to all of us that before the game comes out, you are going to reset the server, and reset the atlas. So all the discoveries that you guys made when you were testing the game will be deleted, and the atlas and the server will be a fresh, clean slate, a fresh, nice, clean sheet of nice white paper for all of us to discover all this stuff. However, one thing tainted it. This dude that sold the game to the dude on eBay for whatever, 1300 bucks, really? Who had tons of money and, well, life is short and blah. No, dude. That guy is a cheater. And he was in the game and leaking footage. It got taken off the internet. Whatever. The point is, he's a cheater. And cheaters should never prosper. You should live long and prosper as an honest, respectful person that waits for the game to come out like all the rest of us. But no, cheater. So you shouldn't prosper. So, here's the point of the video. See? See where I'm going, right? Reset the server. Reset the atlas so that all of that cheating guy's gang isn't in there. And it's the, I know that there's over 18 quintillion planets, and it's a huge universe, and barely it's the possibilities of finding any other players next to impossible. I get that. And because of that, we'll probably never see that dude's discoveries anyways. That's not the point. The point is that somebody cheated. And it's so unfair. <laughs> like I said, world hunger, these things are so much more important. Still. <laughs> like I said, this is unscripted. I don't know where I'm going with this. But basically, the point of doing the whole thing is... A humble request from me and all the hundreds of other Earthlings that are so looking forward to playing this game in four days, and in four and a half days, this whole video will be redundant. But please, just reset the server, reset the atlas, so it's just a clean slate. And that'll be just like, to that dude who cheated. Cheaters, man, man, there's always people like that that get through the door before the door closes. Now, on the other side of the coin, how exciting! I'm so excited for this product. I've played hundreds and millions and trillions of games over the years. Not all of them, all right? I have a select taste, just like anyone. But I just, I've never looked forward to a game so much as No Man's Sky. And I know it's gotten all this hype. And there's all these naysayers. Oh, well, so what? You can go on all these planets. And on this planet, the goats will have blue skin. And on this planet, they'll have red skin. whoop de doo Dude, those people are missing the point. The point is, it's endless discovery and exploration. And it's the most... The biggest one-player, basically, single-player game ever created. And 
you know, kudos to Sean and the team for not spilling the beans on the lore. That is so appreciated. I'm sure it was difficult for you guys not to let stuff get out there. And so, really, that's a really honorable thing, and everyone thanks you for doing that, because we want to discover all the lore. We want to discover what's, what all of this is about, because we know it's not just about upgrading your ship and upgrading your suit and upgrading your multi two so you can get to the center of the... No, dude, there's all kinds of stuff you've put in there that we don't even know about, lore-wise, story-wise, mechanic-wise, and we all look forward to, you know, ocean depth oceans, Cave systems, just yeah. When you're showing like the galactic map, I'm like, map. I'm like, oh my god, oh, oh, my brain. Psh, where do I start? There's so much stuff to discover. Anyways, thank you for making the game. Please reset the atlas. Please reset the server. And on behalf of myself and all of the hundreds of thousands of Earthling gamers that are buying this product and are going to play it, thank you so much for your hard work and your dedication and for the incredible art. I'm an artist by profession and nature, and I've never seen anything that's captivated my artistic soul so much as this game. So kudos to the artist there and the art direction and everything about it. I really look forward to the game, and so does everyone else. I also want to mention kudos and thank you to Cobra TV, Cobra TV for all those months of great coverage that you, uh, that you put up on the Internet for us. And, you know, you had mentioned that you're going to be the last person that gets to the center of the universe. Well, I'm going to be second to last. I mean, you know, just like life, it's not a race, it's a journey. And I understand that some people really want to race to get to the center of the universe. And that's cool. That's totally cool. I totally don't relate to that because you've got this huge palette to discover. Why just go to the chewy center when you can have all of this stuff before you get to the center? So, you know... However you're going to play it, and that's the thing. We can play it. There's so many different ways that you can play it or go about playing it. For instance, me, I'm going to probably spend an entire week of like eight hours or six hours a day. There you are, dude. There he is. There's the dude. Of On My First Planet. You know, just I'm not even going to go into the spaceship and go out into space for like, I don't know, 30 hours or so, man. <sighs> that is if my first planet is hospitable. I don't know. It could be a desert planet or whatever. Anyways... All right, cut. Let's end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave any comments, by all means, you can put them down there. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And I wish you the best. Long live, prosper, and all of this, and sweet, and no man's sky. And there you go. All right, man. Peace out. Thanks, everybody. Take care. And enjoy. Man. No man's sky. Sweet. All right. Cut. Can we break for lunch?